Hi you! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Nkirate and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for being here. So today we are in this one bedroom apartment that we've been working on for the last say like two months, uh, one and a half months thereabouts and it's a bohemian paradise. I can't wait to show you around. Uh, yeah, so when you hear bohemian you think of green, you think of brown, you think of beige, all those colors, you think of texture, pattern, you think of um, things from all over the world. So of course I, I can't travel all over the world to bring all those items to my client's space. That is something that she will do as she progresses when she travels and gets something, she come, comes and adds it to the space. So what I did, I just created a, like a neutral background for her to begin with. So you'll see a lot of neutral colors. Um, there's a pop of color of course, but a lot of it is neutral. So I'm going to show you the living room space, the kitchen space, and the bathroom as well. We haven't worked on the bedroom yet. Um, for the living room space, there's a bohemian vibe going on. For the kitchen, it's modern with a touch of bohemian. And for the bathroom as well, it's modern. Actually, it's more modern. And we're going to start with the living room space. It's caribou. So immediately you walk in, this is the first thing that you see. But if you look down, we have this rug. It's a corridor runner. A bohemian vibe. It has different um, colors, different pattern. I love the pattern going on. Bohemian is all about pattern, all about texture. I love the texture on this. It's quite light. It's matte like, so it was perfect for the corridor um, because people tend to walk here often. So it doesn't get dirty as quickly. I love the color. I love the pattern. And of course, I love the tassels. They just add some spice and an otherwise boring rank. So that's the first thing you see right on the corridor. On the right, when you walk in, there is this shurak. Well, it's still plain because we still need to add shoes and bags, but at the moment it's just like this. We have this plant, potted plant over here. It's a money plant. I got this for her so she can manifest wealth. Wealth to come to her in abundance. Anyway, so plants add a vibrance, um, add vibrance to any space and they also act as decor. So we just have this money plant over here and a black planter to break the contrast. Down here we have this rug. It's the same material as this one on the corridor, but different pattern. It also has tassels. And then at the far end we have a basket that is used as a laundry basket. And of course this lighting from Tungsten Electricals. When it comes to lighting in Bohemian decor, you need to play around with the overall lighting. You don't have to have like one overhead light, no. So we just added um, pendants all over the room, I mean all over the house to create um, crystals of illumination. I love this one from Tungsten Electricals. It's simple, it's minimalist because that's the vibe we're going for in this space. So this is the view that greets you when you come, when you enter this space. That is, we have this uh, stool and a plant and this beautiful frame from Adgalo, Kenya. So we went for this basket that adds um, texture to the space. It's beige and brown and we got it from Moriro Market. I love the texture on this. So it's, this plant is a monstera plant. The plants that are associated with Bohemian vibe include monstera, cacti, actually any tropical plant as long as you have um, the right temperature for the plant it can really do well in this space um, it's sitting on a brown stool it's a sort of a vintage vibe stool when you see this stool you think of ancient times and vintage items add character to an otherwise boring space you know? so this wood matches with this wood because when thinking of bohemian you don't want to go dark Light wood is actually very, very nice when it comes to bohemian. Yeah, and I love the purple color on this frame. There's orange and it's just an African woman. All the art in the house was suggested by the client, so it's a personal item. I love the plant, basket, I love everything about this nook. So this is the TV wall. I love this 
um, well because of this TV stand. It's quite unique from the TV stand that I've used in previous homes before. This one is quite unique. Never made this design before. Of course, um, it's floating. When items, furniture is off the ground, lifted from the ground a bit, there's an illusion of the space being bigger. So below the TV stand, we added some lighting, LED lighting, which was done by my friend Weiru, just to add um, coziness. The moments that the lighting brings just gives cozy vibes. I love that about this lighting. So this TV stand is a six foot TV stand. It's bigger than the TV. The TV is 43 inches. So I went for the for a bigger TV stand so we can have space to organize on the TV stand. It's a light wood, a light shade of wood we went for this one because it's a bohemian space. Bohemian is associated with everything light wood. Yeah, I love the lines going on, the texture. I love the texture of this TV stand. It's quite unique. It has five partitions, so the client can store whatever she deems fit in the storage provided. We have, the TV stand has this block of white wood on top of it, just to add some character to the TV stand, because it was just brown. We needed something to add character to it. That's why I asked my friend Iwero to add this plank of wood on top of it. I love how this TV stand looks. On top of the TV stand we have some deco. On this uh, corner we have these two deco books. I love that they are not the common Prada, LV, Gucci deco books. This one are just minimalist, white and brown. Love the vibe that they are giving and this matches really well with this. So Bohemian space calls for a lot of texture. That's why I went for this one. I love the texture on this. It's, it's actually just a smooth book but with to the eye it, uh, it has a bit of texture these two are from a page on instagram called chic nyumbani i mean chic nyumbani however you pronounce um on top of it we have this wax former it's uh, an abstract piece i love the way it's unique i saw this from mrp home and i decided to get it from a client it's just a black african um not african black abstract wax warmer and next to it we have this polaroid camera that we got on a page on instagram i love the color it's just a nice personal item because it's actually the client who saw it and asked if we can add it to this space so it's a nice personal touch uh right here in the middle she said she doesn't want she can't keep cats she can't keep dogs um so we decided to get fish for her to have as pets and we got this fish bowl from pandamat i I got it from Pandamat and then took it to a guy who just added some greenery, some pebbles, some stones, and of course the fish. So let me tell you a story about this fish bowl. I, this is the second fish bowl I got. The first one that I got, no sooner had I entered my house than she just decided to fall it down. You just get to pang lang lang lang. Like I didn't even have the energy to get mad. No, we learned how to cut the pieces. I took them to the dustbin and went to bed. The next day, I went and got another fish bowl. Don't get cuts. Anyway, um, on this other side of the TV stand, we have this beautiful tray. It's a clear acrylic tray with gold detail on the top. And on top of it, there's this um, vase that has some fresh flowers, fresh roses, and a diffuser and a wax warmer. So I really can't stress the importance of home fragrance. Do not underestimate the importance of having a fresh smelling home. It does wonders for you and the people who come to your space. So be it candles, be it wax warmers, be it um, incense, be it fresh flowers, just ensure that your home is smelling fresh at all times. So this diffuser is from China Square. The wax warmer is from Hosogliatha, same to this first, and I got the wax melt from Bunny Scents, of course. It is mango and gardenia, mango and gardenia wax melt. I love that scent. It's um, it's a perfect scent to burn after a sandy reset. Yeah, and of course this um, roses are from the same one at City Market. Yeah, that's it for the TV wall. Nothing much about it. I just went for a minimal cozy look. So when you think of Bohemian and you think of 
a bohemian space you think of low level furniture a bohemian space calls for conversation calls for deep talks it calls for cozy vibes just kicking back late a laid back time with your friends having conversations and all that so i went for low level furniture when it comes to the couch and the coffee table both of them are quite low and it gives that um cozy vibe cozy feel so she can just chill here with her friends and talk eat all of that so low level furniture really encourages conversation it encourages a time with friends and family yeah i love this couch it's a four seater custom made couch made by sls furniture i love the texture like i mentioned earlier bohemian is all about um texture pattern color all of that vibrance when it comes to bohemian there's no rules there are no rules to a bohemian vibe but for this specific living room we went for a neutral look i didn't want to cramp up the space because as you've seen it's a small space so i didn't want to have much on it for in terms of texture i incorporated that using this couch it's an off-white yes but it has a bit of texture it's not smooth it's a bit rough um other ways we've incorporated texture is using through pillows through blankets chunky knits like this one this other one um there's a lot of texture going around so i'll just tell you guys where i got everything all the pillows because they're not from the same place so that if you also want to get for yourself you can So let me start with this to blanket because it has a string. So I was coming from this apartment actually, going home and on the way to a motorbike, I saw it. I had passed the place Kidogo, I just told the motorbike guy, Rudy Nyoma Kidogo, to Rudy Nyoma, I've seen something I like. So I saw this through blanket from a random seller on the way, I liked the color, I liked the texture, I liked the tassels that it has and the flowy nature of it. So I decided to get it for my client. Unfortunately, I do not have a specific number of where you can get it, but I'm sure you can come across something like this. Um, this pillow cover is so cute. So after I got this one, I saw this one from Brand Ultimate Decor, and I like the white and green. So we decided to get it. We had actually gone to shop for another client, that's Kasha and I and she saw this one i love the off white i love the green and white it matches really well with this through blanket this one is from brand ultimate decor so next to it is this round pillow that i got from china square i saw it it was not in the initial budget but i just called my client and told her i have seen a cute pillow that we really need to get in your space and she just said yes so i got it it's an orange so it's a pop of color add some vibrance to the couch as you've seen the couch is neutral the rug is neutral and the walls are neutral so this just creates a neutral background for the vibrance the pop of colors with the wall art as i'll show you in a while and the flowers and basically all the colors blend well because the neutral the background is neutral that's the shears the rug and the couch so on the far end we have this textured mint green pillowcase which I got from China Square as well. I love the print, I love the texture. It's quite unique and I also love the color. On top of it is this white and brown pillow but I also love the texture. Everything is about texture on this couch. So I love the texture on this one. The brown matches really well with this other one from China Square. It's like the perfect pair. This is from China Square. This one is from Brand Ultimate Decor. I also love the tassels. It's giving bohemian vibes. On the farthest end of the couch, we have this ottoman and just a cozy blanket. And this pillow that I got from China Square as well. It adds a bit of color, cozy vibes. When you think of bohemian, like I said, it's all about coziness, everything cozy. So the use of through blankets, the use of through pillows just gives a cozy, warm, welcome vibe in a space and that's what my client really wanted she was specific i want a cozy minimalist bohemian vibe so there's also another blanket that i got from think twice it's really warm also textured really cozy she can just sit and cover herself 
on it. This blanket was okay it was here i found it here my client had it initially so i just added it on this ottoman to give it a, a fine cozy feeling you can just chill here when she wants to read a book or just chill you know the vibes yeah so that's it for the couch and the pillows um this rug is also textured um it's a subtle texture it's really warm actually it's really warm to step on um, I love the color it's neutral um, the texture is also subtle but I love everything about it it's a thrift rug I got it from Leah I'll insert her number in the description box it's really really nice it's of course neutral to create a neutral background for every other thing that is shouting in this space let me now show you the coffee table setup. We have this beautiful low level coffee table that I got done by my Fundi Wiru. I love the blend of white and wood, light wood to bring that bohemian look. It's also circular to avoid the symmetry in the room because this is rectangular, the, the uh, TV stand is rectangular, the TV is rectangular, so we wanted something asymmetrical and we went for a round coffee table I love the legs, I love the finishing, the white on, on top and on top of it we have this rattan placement that we just used to as a decor piece and it's also functional with this vase that I got from China Square also textured, it's ribbed just like the TV stand and of course there's some eucalyptus inside here that just adds some fresh scent in the home um, there's a tray of coasters, you can just pick one which is having a cup of tea, you know, fully functional and aesthetically pleasing. Next to it is my absolute scent when it comes to candles, mint mojito. Like I said, um, home fragrance is really important and scents are personal but my client was really, she's not really into scents so she just asked me to recommend some scents that I like and I recommended this candle from Bunny scents in the scent mint mojito. It's like a classic mint mojito cocktail. The scent that is it's giving cozy vibes. It's a really nice fresh scent. I love the purple greenery going on with the eucalyptus. Yeah, Bohemian is all about plants. You should have a lot of plants. If you want a Bohemian vibe, just ensure you have big plants, many plants, lots of greenery, whether artificial or live and yeah guys that's it for the living room area not forgetting this beautiful wall art so in as much as i said the bohemian vibe is all about bright colors you should add an element a dark element that sort of anchors the space and for this space the dark element is this beautiful glass frames that we got from at Gallo, kenya the art was picked up by the client and they love that she picked this design because it's a pop of color something painted just adds vibrance to a space so these three frames did exactly that to this one i love the glass finishing i love the black finishing everything about these frames they are a two custom size frames done by at Galo kenya and of course here we have this beautiful wallet that's just the same as the one on the tv wall brings out a nice ambience to the space and also adds some character to this wall and i love that it's in between the frames so it gives the frames a bit of you know warm lighting when it comes to lighting a bohemian space don't stick to the overhead light um in as much as you want the house to be well lit don't stick on the overhead light you can infuse wall lights the led lights on the bottom of the tv stand like i showed you earlier you can add light um, beneath the couch wall lights candles also are also a nice way of lighting in as much as they are for scent decor they can also be used as uh, lighting so what in a bohemian space what you should do is create clusters of illumination in conversation areas for that laid back vibe for guys to just chill and enjoy if it's just this light honestly it's not a nice ambience for conversation but when we put this one off and use the wall lights, the light from the TV, the candle, and the lights beneath the TV stand, it will really change up the space, like it will give a really nice,
cozy feeling so don't stick to the overhead light don't stick to the overhead light and if you have the um, if you have the kawaida landlord bulb please change it go for a simple beautiful light and if it's bohemian look for one that is textured rattan vibe something like this that we got from uh, tungsten electricals i love 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 it it's such a nice bohemian vibe i love the color i love the pattern i love the shape actually it's a really nice shape it's actually circular it, it has different shapes so i love that about it play around with lighting because that will change the feel the overall feel and look of your space initially as you saw in the before the videos and photos the space was orange and navy blue some weird combination of colors and the landlord was actually skeptical about painting it white so we changed the color i went for a plain white brilliant white because the space is actually really small so we needed a color that will make the space feel brighter look brighter feel bigger and white walls will do that to you and also um in a bohemian space you need somewhere where the eye will rest somewhere that's not busy somewhere that's not bright somewhere that's not like colorful so in this specific house where the house where the eye rests is the walls of course um some parts of the walls that don't have anything the shears which are white the couch which is an off-white as well as the rug all of those are neutral colors just for you need somewhere where the eye can rest not just having busy 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 everything busy you know um on the side just behind me we have this beautiful big chef up plant so i wanted something big something that screams i'm here something that says see me for this corner and i went for this specific plant because it's low maintenance first of all uh, my client was very specific about having low maintenance plants because she doesn't want to kill them but she wants them in her space so we went for this Schaeffler plant it's low maintenance just water it once a week and there's a window here so there'll be enough sufficient sunlight for it um in bohemian vibe of course you have to have plants you cannot have a bohemian space without greenery and plants just add to the overall decor of a space and add vibrancy assuming this plant was out here this world would have been so boring so boring so this plant acts as decor as well as it's functional because it has a really nice scent so this is her office setup she works from home so i had to create a cozy nice setup for her to work from and we thought of having this area just behind the living room so it's sort of secluded and just give her gives her the concentration that she needs like sit is comfortable so this initially this desk was a dark shade of wood so i just sent it to a room a fundi who just spray painted it white i love it love it love it love it on top of it we just have this custom made um to-do list that lights actually lights when it's connected to electricity but it's not connected right now so she just writes the things that she needs to do for the day and ticks against them at the end of the evening and then next to it is this beautiful um pink diffuser which she got it so it's something personal on this side we have a vase full of fresh flowers it's just a simple office setup when she's just sat here working she can enjoy the scent of fresh flowers the sight of beautiful fresh flowers i just know flowers do a lot you never know this just do a lot for someone's mind yeah that's it for the office space here we have this beautiful um just a clear jar that i got from benoma pan and it is housing her pens highlighters and all of that Is it really an curate home if there's no mirror inside? Is it? So we have this beautiful carved mirror that I got mounted on the wall by... It, uh, it was actually done by Wooden KE and it was mounted on the wall by them. I love that it is simple, just a simple black frame. Um, just also an element that... A dark element that anchors the space together. Mirrors um, give an optical illusion of the space being bigger so of course we had to include a full-length mirror in the space i also love this um 
whole setup going on like the pillow the show blanket the mirror just looking at each on the mirror it's giving cozy vibes and yeah guys that's the end of the living room tour let me know what you think about it in the comment section is it a cozy space did i do too much did i not do too much let me know the parts in the comment section let's now move to the kitchen So immediately you enter the kitchen space, which is actually on the right when you walk in. Um, it's this beautiful chair that um, it was it's the clients. I don't know where she got it, but it's actually really, really, really cute. Um, it's in thin white and brown. So beautiful. So when she has a guest, she can just chill here, and the guest can entertain her while maybe she cooks or just does things in the kitchen. Um, there's a fridge, of course, the microwave. On top of the fridge is this beautiful notebook I got for her from House of Leather. Up and like a two shopping list and the likes. Just fancy, fancy stuff that's cute. And it's also in theme. She likes this color. That's why the theme of the, the entire house actually is. This color is dominant. This green is dominant. On top of the microwave, we have this beautiful vase from House of Leather and some cute eucalyptus stems that just add some nice smell scent in the kitchen area next to it we have this beautiful candle that i got from mrp a weekend it smells really nice i love the color also i actually took it for the color the green against the brown looks really really cute this one was from mrp there is also a bamboo clear and bamboo uh servet organizer that just sits on top of the my crib as well so like i said the theme for the kitchen is black white and brown so modern with a touch of brown black and white touch of brown that's the vibe she went for she actually liked a previous project that i did for a kitchen and she said she also wants a black and white kitchen so that's exactly what we did in this space so this is the sink area as you can see it's quite small so we went for an over the sink uh, dish rack which is quite functional it saves on space it is, it's actually really big so when she does a lot of utensils she can just hang them to dry comfortably there's this set of dispensers that we got from Imani household this one is for dishes this one is for hands and they are in the perfect thing white black and brown so they match really well in the kitchen space they're also fancy we don't need to see your velvex dishwasher or your mountain pride whichever brand you use we really don't need to see it just a nice cute way of organizing things um there's this also counter dustbin that's just really functional this is something that you need in your house if you don't have it ensure you get it so when you're just doing your kawaita cooking use this as a dustbin and then when you're done cooking you just empty it once a day or something like that yeah it's really functional and it's an, just a counter dustbin so on top of the dish rack we have this set of three wall baskets that are really cute they add a touch of bohemian in the kitchen the white the beige the tassels if you think about them we got this set from Marero market we arranged them in this order just to add a bit of character on the wall i love how it turned out the fixture itself is gold which matches with the wall baskets and the gold accents that you will see on this other side um before i show you the pantry i need to show you this beautiful black and white bohemian rug that she steps on when she's doing her dishes uh, we wanted to get a darker rug but we opted for a bright one because why not and it's just the perfect piece for this area i love it this one is from smart lady home yeah. white shelves behind me of course because the space is small so they can't put anything that is dark it will feel it will make the space feel and look darker and smaller so we went for white shelves heavy shelves so that people outside cannot see her when she's inside on this far right there is this beautiful set of wine holder it's actually a set of three there's this small one there is this big one that's holding the wine and this small one this three come as a set from 
Lux Home Decor. They are really nice, unique pieces that I haven't actually seen a lot, like seen in different places. I love, love, love this. And I love that they are also black, so they offset the white and bright, white and brown going on in the pantry. Um, next to it, we have these organizers that are just organizing spices. These are spices. These are also spices. These spices just are from um, curry collections, and we had them labeled by Label Me Pantry on Instagram. White, I mean clear and brown, just to be in theme with the overall decor of the kitchen. There's, of course, this beautiful clear and brown jack that she can use to make tea. Yeah, just basically the things you need in a pantry. There's sugar, salt, all those things. There are these beautiful wine glasses from Affordable Market KE. They are fancy. Fancy. It's giving green, it's giving big girl, you know? So you can get this from Affordable Market. There's clear and there's black. So you can get whichever you want. There's a coffee machine just basics in the kitchen. On top of the coffee machine, we have this beautiful frame that says, but first coffee, um, the frame is brown to add a bit of character to the wall, to add a bit of vibrancy. Yeah, all of that. It was done by a yellow Kenya, and it's small because this space is really small, so you couldn't get a big frame. This second um, shelf, we have these organizers that, are, that have cornflakes, they have um, green grams, all the cereals that she has, salt, I mean sugar, flour, peanuts, all of that. Next to it is this beautiful tray, brown tray that's housing, that's like her coffee station setup. That this beautiful organizers that we got from Imani Household. This one has caramel syrup, this one has vanilla syrup, and they are fancy. The dispensers are quite fancy. These cups are from Benoit Pan, and here we have this jug that has small um, teaspoons, bamboo teaspoons that she uses to maybe just stir her tea yeah. or even maybe collect spices or something like that I don't know, just functional items here tree, I mean straws of course um, there's this organizer that has tea bags this is supposed to be a pestle and mortar but it's too cute so she's just been using it as decor over here we just have more spices, there's a grater, um, just kawaii the kitchen items that you need. So down here on this last shelf we have just um, vegetables and fruits. This fruit basket, it's a black beautiful basket from China Square and it's housing her fruits. We have this jar that's housing, okay, that has peanuts, ilkatakto shafa, just we just put it here. And then there are these baskets from Imani Households that have um, her vegetable. So down there, there's just that basket that you can use for shopping. Of course, a, pl a plant to add some greenery in the kitchen and just um, that storage for her milk, her long life milk. The walls were not white, they were uh, a really weird color, so we just had them painted white. And then there's contact paper on the tiles because the tiles are not really giving. Yeah, and of course, contact paper on the cabinets so these cabinets were also initially brown but we had black contact paper installed on them just to change up the color inside um, not much Okaju is just shopping things that she doesn't use often because she's short so Okaju we just put things that are not often used these are her utensils I'm thinking we should get um, the organizers that are used to partition utensils inside the cabinet. So I think I'm going to get that so we can organize the utensils in a better way. All the utensils are clear, white and black just to maintain the entire thing in the kitchen space. So guys, we are in the final space that I want to show you guys today, which is the bathroom area. It's a shared bathroom and washroom this side is the washroom this other side is the bathroom so immediately you walk in there's a sink here the sink area there's a mirror where you just look at yourself there are, of course um there's toothbrush toothpaste we got this dispenser this beautiful toothbrush and toothpaste 
organizer from Carrie Collection. It just sits over there. Yeah? And then on the side, there are these beautiful dispensers that we got from MRP Home. I love that they're black, so they add contrast to this entire space, which is actually white. And they also add a bit of character to the sink. On this side, we have this beautiful table holder we got from China Square, which just houses, I mean, holds this um, kitchen towel. It's supposed to be a kitchen towel, but it's being used in the bathroom for just um, wiping, I mean, drying your hands and the like. So initially, the uh, this apartment, I mean the bathroom was, on top it's white, but the tiles are some weird color. I think you saw that in the before videos. So we just had contact paper installed. Contact paper is waterproof, so it's best to use it in the bathroom. At Ukiyoka, you don't have to worry, maybe paper will get spoiled because of water, no. If it's contact paper, it is waterproof, so water doesn't affect it. So to add some character and contrast to this wall, we have this frame from Atgalo, Kenya that says the best seat is the, the best seat in the house, which is the toilet seat of course, and I know that it is black, so it adds contrast to this wall. Yeah. Um, down here we have this beautiful wicker basket from House of Leather, which is just housing this um, artificial plant from House of Leather also, and this candle from Bunnysense. Guys, I won't fail to insist the importance of scent in the house. Home fragrance is really important. Doesn't matter if it's in the kitchen or bathroom or bedroom or wherever. Personally, I burn candles everywhere in the bathroom, in the kitchen, in the bedroom, everywhere. So we just have this one burning to bring a nice scent in the bathroom. It's also from Bunny Candles KE. Yeah, that's it for the toilet. On this side, there's this shelf that came with the apartment. It was initially brown, so we just installed contact paper on it. It has these organizers that we got from Affordable Market that just has cotton, I mean, um, earbuds, cotton wipes, anything that she needs in the bathroom, they're all here. At the far end, we have this beautiful vase from Benoit Pan, which she actually doesn't know about. It's a surprise, so she'll just come and find it in the bathroom. It's um, in green, I just saw it and I was like, hey, I'm trying to love this one. So I just hope she likes it. Yeah, um, I think she'll add flowers there. I don't know. She'll do whatever she wants to do with it. Um, just below the shelf is this towel organizer that we got from Curry Collection that has her towels, her uh, exfoliating glass, there's a bonnet, an extra towel, just basically extra towels. It's a kit kind of that's really well color coordinated. White, black, and green. Such a beautiful spot. I love it. So this bathroom area, there's nothing much to show. There's of course a bath mat, a silicone anti-slip mat. Um, also green, I love that I got these two in matching colors. I got this one from China Square as well. Um, the tails are a bit slidey so we can have to get an anti-slip mat. Uh, behind me is this beautiful abstract piece of this lady. She was really insistent. She wanted this one in her bathroom. So we got it from a page on Instagram. I am going to link it in my description. At the corner, we have um, this organizer that is from China Square. It's supposed to have some some connections over here, but it doesn't because this is a corner and it wouldn't fit. So we just had to manually install it. So it just has uh, her everyday shower essentials, shower gels, body scrubs, skincare, all of that. Below it is this black soap dish which we got from Curry Collection. Yeah, for our soap. Yeah, basically that's it for the bathroom area. This is my next project. I'm going to change it. When we do the bedroom in like maybe a month, we're going to change the shower as well. So make sure you come back for that project reveal. I'll include the shower as well. And, and yeah guys, that's the end of this project reveal. Let me know what you think about this place, what we did. As I said, Bohemian style is a style that takes time. It's acquired when people travel all over the world, different places, acquiring items, infusing them into the space. That's why Bohemian vibe is interesting and really diverse. Um, let me know what you think and we'll see you on the next one. Bye!